And, uh, you know, we don't nickel and dime you, I guess, for options. So, yeah. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTD CNC. We always appreciate you tuning in. I'm with my buddy Darren today, and we are going to talk the Methods line of machines. Now, when we think Methods machine tools, there's a lot of great machines that they utilize as part of their package to work with you customers out there. However, when we're talking about Methods, sometimes we don't specifically talk about the Methods line of machines. So we want to kind of put this on a platform and talk with Darren about some of the significant attributes and abilities that this line of machines brings to the industry as a whole. So Darren, let's talk methods. I know you're the expert. I tell these guys all the time that I am definitely not, but I bring the experts with me. I appreciate that. So the methods line, we've got everything from basic three axis lays, four axis horizontals, to I think a very competitive five axis, you know, machine. So just a wide variety of machines in the commodity market. So. Well, Methods is a nationwide company. It's been around for a long time. You're very, very well known. Your service, support, the amount of buildings that you have. Uh, as you can see, we're at an open house right now, which is why people keep walking by the camera. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and let that slide this time. So with that being said, back to the method side of things. When we think about Methods and everything that you guys offer, if I'm a customer or a potential customer right now watching this video, Darren, yeah. And I go, well, well, why the methods line? What would you tell them to say, this is why you want to at least consider it? Is it because you have the three, the plus two, the five competitively? Is it the price points? Is it the longevity? Is it the fact that you get to work with methods on multiple facets? What all goes into this? No, I, I think number one is it's backed by methods, right? We've been in business for a long time. We're not going anywhere. We're going to take care of you. Our name's on the product. And it's just a fantastic product. We've spec them right, okay? They're great parts, spec right, and they're gonna run and perform well for you. And we, at the end of the day, we all want these machines to perform for us, right? We, a lot of us have those conversations of either price per part or how quickly can I pay it off, right? How quickly can I make money off of my investment based on the world that we're living in right now? And those are, uh, we're, we're looking at, a, I believe, a gun part right now. So this can be utilized in many different industries and it's reliable. Is that kind of what we're heading toward over and over again? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, this is a, a gun part, but we have a lot of uh, companies making aerospace parts, uh, you know, very tight tolerance aerospace parts. Um, I, they've inspected parts from different facilities across the country and they've held some pretty good tolerances from facility to facility. You know, very impressive stuff. This machine, for example, has got scales on all five axes. So, again, pretty accurate machine, priced right, you know, very loaded, fanic control, very capable. So, again, we've got a lot of features in this machine um, that we think kind of sep separates us from the competition. Um, and, yeah, is you know, going to add life to the machine and reliability uh, to the machine. And in the end, that's accuracy in parts. Well, that's actually exactly what I wanted you to explain to the audience because you mentioned the software. We see Fanuc again. Fanuc is around this room that we're in right now everywhere we look. So it's a familiar software that people understand. It's also a partner of yours, which makes it even easier working with Fanuc, right? But you also mentioned the capabilities of the machine. So just for further in the conversation for the audiences right there, can we talk a little bit about the rigidity of the machine? Maybe some of the spindle speed, some of the specs to make them go, that is what I need, that is what what I need that is let me, that, let me call Darren right yeah. now yeah no so I, we have a couple different five axis machines for example this is the 450 I think the the key feature about this machine is it's got a really compact footprint so your job shops you know maybe some medical manufacturers just people were you know floor space is expensive right so uh, this compact footprint with a true five axis capable machine is a home run um, 15,000 RPM spindles, so a good, I think that's a good point, you know, to, to cut a wide variety of material with. Um, again, five axis scales, 48 tools, dual contact spindle, spindle oil chiller. Uh, again, I can't say enough about the control. It's loaded, so you can do true five axis machining with it. You don't need to buy more options, um, you know, or most of the companies we do business with are probably doing three plus two, four plus one work. But, you know, less setups, less whip, this is a big advantage, right, when it's hard to find uh, help. So, um, yeah, a little bit about those. The 650, 
just a 650 millimeter uh, pallet or table versus a 450. Uh, very similar uh, other than that, you know, same tools, same everything, so uh, very capable machines. Two things I want to bring up based on that conversation for the audience. One is, yeah, I mean, we're on the West Coast right now. Real estate is a battle, and not that it's much easier in any other parts of the country right now, right. is it? But West Coast, I mean, arguably California, we're in Arizona, but California is some of the highest prices in the country right, right. now. So until we start stacking these things like Legos, that real estate space from the width is very important. The second thing, all of those options you mentioned, they come standard, don't they? That's correct, yep. They're all standard. So. Yeah, we try to dress these things up uh, so you don't need to, you know, we don't nickel and dime you, I guess, for options. So, yeah. I think that should be the quote of the day. We don't nickel and dime you. And that's how we're going to close out this conversation. Fantastic machine. Darren, thank you so much for sharing this information with the audience. Thank you all for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.